gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time for the main event of the evening. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with red trim, fighting out of Miami, Florida by way of Santiago de Cuba in Cuba. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. His record stands at 26 wins, 4 losses with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the 2008 Olympic bronze medalist tonight making the first defense of his world title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current reigning and defending WBA welterweight champion of the world. Introducing 54 Milagros, Jordani Ugas. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, really needing no introduction the world over. Wearing white trunks trimmed with flames. As the boxing senator, he is fighting out of and proudly representing the Serengani province in the Philippines. He weighed in at a trim and ready 146 pounds. As a true icon of boxing, his record stands at 62 wins, 7 losses and 2 draws, with 39 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the four-time welterweight world champion and boxing's legendary and only eight-division champion of the world, introducing the one and the only Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. And our referee in charge now to give instructions, Russell Mora. Now peace, now peace. Trunks here are good. Trunks here are good. Anything below this belt line is a foul. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you both. Touch up. An electric atmosphere here in Las Vegas. Manny Pacquiao, at 42 years of age, the senator from the Philippines. There is his wife, Jinky, watching intently as she watches her husband compete for the 72nd time. Will we see the old Manny Pacquiao, or at 42 years of age, could we see an old Manny Pacquiao? Your Dennis Ugas looking to shock the world, and we are underway here in Las Vegas. Ray Flores ringside here at T-Mobile Arena. Immediately starting strong with the jab is your Dennis Ugas, but coming in with the lefts, immediately moving forward, is Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao, so explosive, quick, has dynamite in both hands. Freddie Roach made him a two-handed fighter to make his right hand destructive like his left. Dennis Ugas, fundamentally sound, Cuban bronze medalist in 2008 for Cuba in Beijing. And he looks to be considerably the bigger man. We don't have an unofficial scale, but I would gather to say that Ugas probably looks like 160. Well, the Ugas camp did say that they want to focus in on attacking the body of Manny Pacquiao to try to take away some of his legs and his speed because Pacquiao, oh, there's a straight left, and Ugas got popped, but he wasn't in any danger. He was just off balance. A couple of straight lefts that crashed right into the face of Ugas. Manny Pacquiao obviously has the faster hands and now he's unloading. Ugas though pushes him off. There's the size difference and there's an overhand right that backed up Pacquiao. Ugas with the right hand that caught Pacquiao but Pacquiao answers with the straight left right on the button. Ugas smiles at him just over the midway point of this our first round. Already considerable action in the first several moments of this fight. There's a right to the body that backed up Pacquiao. Ugas 
is really focusing in on attacking the body of Pacquiao to try to take away some of the spring from the legs of Pacquiao. Pacquiao generates a lot of his power from his legs. You see those bulging calf muscles that have been so emblematic of him. Freddie Roach said that Manny Pacquiao in sparring looked tremendous. He knocked out two sparring partners over the past several weeks towards the end of training camp. We are under 40 seconds to go in the first round. There's a left to the body, and Pacquiao says, hey, come on, keep him up. What energy here at T-Mobile Arena for Pacquiao and Ugas. Stiff jab for Ugas. Ugas was successful against Abel Ramos by using a litany of jabs and Ugas just pushes him down and that ends the first round. Here's the push where Ugas got a little tied up and then just pushed Manny Pacquiao off of him. Ugas' his girlfriend enjoying what she's seen as we are on to the championship rounds between your Dennis Ugas and Manny Pacquiao. High level prize fighting is what we are witnessing with the welterweight championship of the world on the line between the champion from Cuba, your Dennis Ugas, and Manny Pacquiao, boxing's only eight division world champion. For Pacquiao, you wonder how much steam he has left and can he end the fight in spectacular fashion by really unloading combinations and letting his hands go. And for Ugas, he has fought a brilliant fight tactically using his jab to start off his offense and then also countering Manny Pacquiao with the right hand as well as attacking the body early in the fight. For Pacquiao, he's been the one who has been throwing obviously considerable more punches. He's been extremely, he's been aggressive in spurts. There's a left to the body by Pacquiao as he landed a big shot to hurt or disrupt the flow of Ugas. Not much, but Pacquiao could very well be piling up points in the eyes of the judges based on his work rate and his activity level that is considerably more than that of your Dennis Ugas. Jab by Pacquiao. There's a jab all by a straight left for Pacquiao landed right on the chin of Ugas. Big right hand by Ugas, but back comes Pacquiao. Pacquiao loves these toe-to-toe -to -toe exchanges. The more tactical plotting sort of fight is something that, I don't know if it was lulling him to sleep or making him think a little bit more, but Pacquiao loves, he has a zest for combat. And when Ugas has been willing to oblige, that's when you see Manny Pacquiao go back and we witness the Pacquiao of the past five to 10 years that have been so emblematic over the course of his 25 year plus career. There's a straight left by Pacquiao. There's a right hand on the left ear of Pacquiao. Pacquiao with some swelling underneath his right eye. Ugas has swelling underneath his left eye, largely in part to those straight lefts from Pacquiao. Final stages of the 11th. A riveting matchup, a big right hand for Ugas as we head down the stretch. On to the 12th and final round. Scorecards and the fans coming to their feet, bruising 
outside of the left eyes of Manny Pacquiao. And if you notice, Pacquiao was breathing extremely heavy in between rounds. Twelfth and final round. Could this be the final round in the career of Manny Pacquiao? And with the result hanging in the balance, total punches landed, thrown through the 11th. Pacquiao, 123 of 737 for a 17% connect percentage. Ugas, 140 of 380 for a 37% connect percentage. Pacquiao has nearly doubled the punches thrown compared to that of Ugas. But Ugas has been the far more accurate of the two. There's a right hand by Ugas that caught the attention of Pacquiao. Pacquiao might have been off balance, but he smiles. And now Pacquiao looking to retaliate and respond. There's a right hand by Ugas. There are a, there is nervous energy here at T-Mobile Arena because this is a partisan Manny Pacquiao crowd. There's a big right hand by Ugas as he stepped in beautifully and got a lot of leverage behind it. 90 seconds left in the fight. There's a right hand by Ugas. And now they both tie up. Ugas wants to immediately wrap up with Pacquiao. Pacquiao's face bruised up. But he enjoys this. He just pounded his gloves. And you know that that is a statement that he's trying to exert and give his all in these final moments of his welterweight championship affair against your Dennis Ugas. Big right hand by Ugas. Ugas is zeroing in on Pacquiao. Left hook. That wobbled Pacquiao. But Pacquiao ate it. Ogus is trying to leave no doubt in the eyes of the judges here in this 12th and final round. And now the fans start to chant Manny. Blood outside of the left eye of Manny Pacquiao. And it's starting to trickle. There's a right to the body by Ugas. But Pacquiao responds with a counter left. Pacquiao is now seeking out and trying to find your Dennis Ugas. A cut underneath the right eye of Pacquiao. What a moment between Manny Pacquiao and your Dennis Ugas. Both men fighting at such a high level. A right hand by Ugas. Ugas fought the fight of his life. Manny Pacquiao still Manny Pacquiao. What a fight here in Las Vegas. Ugas feels like destiny is within his grasp. Pacquiao feels as if victory should be his. Cheeky Pacquiao, nervous indeed. There is the girlfriend of Yoda Dennis Ugas. What a fight. And your Dennis Ugas with Ismail Salas' trainer. They go over to Manny Pacquiao. They embrace. Manny Pacquiao there with boy Fernandez. And... The feeling here that I am experiencing. 116 to 112, all three in favor of the winner and still champion, Jordanis Ugas. So Jordanis Ugas gets the upset victory over Manny Pacquiao as he hands Pacquiao the eighth professional loss. What a monumental...